me. I'm back, guys. It's uh, been a while, but here I am. Your uh, favorite question DM. The quadum. The, the quadum. quadum. The quadum's back. Canonically, I didn't like that, actually, and I, I wanted something <laughs> Too else. Too bad. It's been so many years, I don't remember. <laughs> and I don't remember what I like and don't like. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, when was the last time we did one of these? Uh, 2021 was the last one we Ugh. did. Oh. When is so, like 21? Just, November. You know what? 2021 so, uh, was so a three great years year. Yeah. 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 Was it? It was a great year. You guys remember 2021? I can't think yeah. of anything going on back then that was a <laughs> problem or... We were a little Life busy. Affecting. We didn't want to take any questions because we might cry if we answered them. <laughs> That's true. How, yeah, yeah. Question number one. How are you doing emotionally? How are you? Not good. <laughs> okay. We're doing. So we've got some lovely questions. Lots of people uh, submitted them over the years. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys for being so, so patient. Um, so we can finally get to those. Uh, I might skip over a few because there are some that are have been answered already or they're going to be doubled up on. But I will still give shout outs to those people who have asked them because that is very sweet of you to do so and take that time. So I will still give you a little shout. Um, okay, we're going to start. We're going to start light because there's a very heavy question that I want to kind of work, work our way up to, but it's a very good one. So someone who is now deleted user. So I assume they left. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <Discord. we're> gonna... <laughs> so on a great start, uh, their quest, they, they didn't understand what the question zone was actually for and just started asking regular questions and then got scolded by the mods. <laughs> this was not a place to ask regular questions. And then they hated that and they got really mad. So I think maybe they left because of that. But then in, in all of that rage and anger, they still were like, fine, question for the characters of the podcast. Do y'all like barbecue sauce? Like, do you guys drink it like for breakfast? <laughs> oh boy. And that's where one we're going to start. One of those, huh? That's where we're going to start. So let's go around. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Like, Quadum. Wow. Okay. We're off to a route. We're going to start loose. Okay. We're going to start loose and yeah. silly. How, how, I, I mean, I start, I start loose every morning so, because I, because I drink an entire <laughs> bottle of barbecue sauce for breakfast. Well, sweet baby Ray's to get the day going, you know? All right. Well, let's start. Really does everyone, the wheels in the morning. Does anyone not like barbecue else, sauce? And then the wheels come off. <laughs> Does anyone not like it? I like barbecue sauce. Everyone likes Um, barbecue sauce, right? Yeah. Well, do you guys like your barbecue sauce like sweet, tangy, spicy? Spicy. Depends on what I'm eating. Yeah. I like tangy. I don't like when it's too sweet. For me, tangy is good. Sweet is is no. Yes. And spicy, I'm getting better. Yeah. But do I drink it? Do I eat it for breakfast? No. I, um, I think as far as characters, I think Robert would probably drink a full thing of barbecue sauce in the morning. He would change Robert, it with the ranch Robert too. would eat a bag of gravel if you told him to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you had barbecue sauce on you. If you so put barbecue sticky. sauce on a bag of rocks. He's if you had barbecue sauce on you, he might eat you. True. There you go. He might take a nibble at least. Yeah, Ooh. what is, uh, what's what's Robert up to? We didn't really get a, uh, oh, that's right. Never mind. He he showed up and uh, beat the cra- helped us beat the crap out of somebody. Yeah. Yeah. He's probably, he's traveling. 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 Did he, by the way, oh, wasn't he like a Roman an, mercenary? We never yeah, really talked about this. He was, he, so, so was he, in the final episodes, was he still missing an arm? No, he had like a prosthetic. Well, okay. So now he, he has, now he has the back, robo arm. Like okay. A little nib. Yeah. Full, full metal Robert. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, All you right. know, he, he knows Sven. Who knows if that arm will be functional at the end, but. It'll definitely explode. That's for sure. Okay, ready? Next, next one we have from a user whose name I don't know how to pronounce because there's lots of letters. Vunjitol on yeah, Instagram but, or oh, that's Christian. just that's just Polish. Christian uh, <laughs> says, "Did the story drastically change after one of the players left?" And Jake, how did you handle changing up the encounters? Uh oh yeah, the definitely the podcast drastically changed. Mm-hmm. Um, was not expecting that. How do I address the? Com- I guess the combat really kind of just stayed the same for the most part. You get they're so overpowered <laughs> from all yeah. the stuff I gave them that 
I could literally throw something that was like four times the challenge rating at them. Luckily, we still be. had a melee character. I feel like if we didn't have a tank, that would have been. Yeah, more that would have been a lot worse if you guys didn't have a front line. But you had Katan with his 21 to 23 AC. Which is not that time. crazy for it's a, not crazy for a twenty yeah, for a twentieth level paladin, but before that, when you guys were like ten to eleven, I think that's when Joe left. Nice. That was like halfway. But mm-hmm. I, that that didn't change much. Okay. Uh, Thank you very much. The next one is from Matt Crumbly from Discord. If your characters were to swap bodies for an episode, which body would you want your character to end up in? Who would like to go first? Body? You got a body swap. You got a Freaky Friday. Ooh, okay. Who would you want a Freaky Friday with? Uh, I think Awen would want a body swap with Ralph. Because then he could just literally be a robot all the time and not have to have any sort of human emotion and be able to get away with like weird syntax speaking and all that sort of thing. So I think uh, I think he'd go with I think he'd go with Ralph. Ralph. Okay. Nice. Ben. Brian. Uh, I think Katan would probably want to swap with Awen and just be Awen for a day. And not have to deal with like morality. <laughs> yeah. What? On top of that, just being like super agile and stuff. You know, That's like, what like I a thought very, you were gonna say that you could like yeah. just walk around and not be heard one time in your life. Yeah, like he wouldn't <laughs> do a backflip real quick. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like <laughs> so I just for the one I'm, time. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna transition into a a, a handstand just because. Um, but. Uh, yeah, no, not only because, I mean, he's just, he's the exact, I mean, he, he'd be an elf. He wouldn't have to sleep. He'd be super agile. He wouldn't have to be him for a day. He could be the opposite. And I think he always deep down wanted to be able to do that kind of stuff, but was burdened by ethical dilemmas. <laughs> so that'd be nice. Yeah, I like it. I actually think that would be a great idea for a one shot where we all swap characters. I think we would instantaneously devolve into yelling at each other. <laughs> I think it'd be great. I wouldn't I do that. I wouldn't fun. even do that at all. But I guess you're not doing it. Yeah. That's right. Okay. For for Leaf, she would want to swap with Boral. <laughs> the main reason <laughs> being so she can get the spell she was supposed to have after all. Oh, yes. <laughs> and then of also to have spells that actually do damage. That would be <laughs> that would be lovely for her to to feel that power. Brian? Yeah, I think I would. I would want to be a uh, Catan so I can get punched once and not <laughs> crumble into a pile. Pass out. Yeah. Some guy, some guy just, just crits you for uh, 150 damage and you're like, ow. <laughs> <laughs> well, just a scratch. Hey, yeah. stop that. <laughs> nice. All right. The next question is from Bloodbender. And they say, whose hair is more perfect? Matt's or Awen's? Uh, a wins. Yeah. He literally has magic keeping it in place at all times. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you also? Everybody <laughs> well, seems to think so. Well, yeah. I mean, Matt, you have modern <laughs> science. Uh, I do. <laughs> well, which is the age old question, which is, which is stronger modern science yeah. or a little bit of magic. I'm going to, I'm still going to go with magic though. Yeah. It's what, yes, I, I aspire to be Awen's hair, right? Like that's my goalpost that I set for myself. Just snap your fingers and it be perfect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and also as an elf, he doesn't age. So like you never have to worry well, about- Well, neither do, neither do I, so. Right, of course. <laughs> of course, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sure I, I, you don't again, have a single gray in there, I'm sure. Not that you can see. Motherfucker. <laughs> not after this haircut. <laughs> not after that last haircut butt. where I buzz them all off. <laughs> where she snips them all off, get them all. Yeah, right. I, I pay my I pay my hairstylist four thousand dollars to individually pull out each gray hair, tweeze each one on my head. Nice. Most so there's a lot just, of them. Then yeah, most people just do that on no. their own. <laughs> she has the reason. The reason it takes so long. She has to hunt for them. It's like a needle in the haystack. Oh, okay. oh, that's oh. Yeah. so hard to find. <laughs> Fair okay. enough. Fair enough. 
Good one. That was a great question. Okay. Then we have a trees awake asked a kind of a juicy one. So we're, I wanted oh, to get us up juicy. for it. It's mostly for Ben. So buckle up everyone. You just oh, get boy. to take a I'll little take break. A nap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So he says, I have a, I've got a goodie, maybe a toughie. Do you think that Emmy and Catan will stay together for the rest of Emmy's natural life? While it's apparent that Catan still cares for her in the limited way he's able to, Ben kind of described it as though Catan has put on a mask to portray or reciprocate emotions he thinks he should be having or experiencing. Will that be enough for Emmy or even for Catan, who has now achieved a godhood level of omnipotence? Omnipotence. Yes. Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not so one. easy not so easy is it christy i'm allowed yeah, right? one <laughs> <laughs> ah. yeah Everybody but imagine five years <laughs> yeah you'd think i'd do something that's about okay it. jake i know that you're gonna lay into me at the start of episode one just i'm ready for it um, i already got showing episode zero dude we're good <clears throat> uh i don't think a ton would leave emmy because not having like that strong emotional connection and not having to worry about time, like her life will be over in the blink of an eye for him. So for him, it's just kind of like, it's just like going it on out. a date. It's like he's going on a date. You know what I mean? It's just kind of like, oh, I mean, maybe I'll call her. Maybe I won't, but I'll, I'm not just going to. Well, yeah, because he's just like, why, why be like, I, I can't be with you when it doesn't, it's so fast to him. It's like, well, it's going to be over in a minute anyway. You don't think he feels even the passage of time? <laughs> well, because it he he feels it, but there's no there's no pressure to like like I feel like a lot of what we deal with is the pressure of like soon this day will be over, soon the next day will happen, soon I'll have to deal with this next task. And he doesn't have any of that. Mm, Cuz okay. he exists well, forever think- now. Do you think so, that will be enough for Emmy or will she be like, peace, I got to go. You're actually not putting in any effort. I mean, I can't speak for how Emmy would act. I think that would be <clears> for Jake do it. to, to do it, yeah. describe. <laughs> I think Jake, she what probably think? would stay with him. I imagine that he would sire a child with her. Um, sire a, sire ch- a child with her. <laughs> that's how, see, that's the thing is, that's how uh, he would think about it. He wouldn't think. That's how you have, think about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because Katana's is me. What's your yeah. point? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he has sired two children. We do <laughs> that, is, that is true. I mean, that we know of. Well, and I guess um, Emmy is could, sticking around. There could be some little so. sort of bastard children running around. <laughs> um, no, okay. I, think, I think he would because uh, he would feel like he was like supposed to. Um, and... But I think like within like a couple generations, I think he would distance himself from them um, and maybe even like forget who his great, great, great grandkids are. Like it would be oh, at the point so where he's rude. like, well, because it'd be at the point where he's like, oh, shit, I kind of lost track. Um, <laughs> I, I guess I have the power of like all sight and knowledge. So I'll, I'll just like just Google that shit. <laughs> Um, look into the pool and be like, who's my great Karen kid again? Um, yeah, I don't know. I think he would stay with her. I, I I don't think he like, please understand. He doesn't dislike her. He just doesn't have like intense, deep emotional feelings for a person. That doesn't mean you still can't like care for them. Yeah. Care for a person and enjoy being around them. Um, yeah, it's almost like, it's almost like dating when you're, when you're in your eighties, you know, when you're like at the nursing home and you're like, I guess this is my boyfriend now with with an understanding <laughs> that like any day <laughs> it might not be Jeez. <laughs> so morbid. <laughs> Love it. Uh, All right. Well, that's that. <laughs> so we don't know, I guess, everyone. That's the answer to that question. I mean, would stay with Katana. They'll stay. So, okay. What else does okay. she have? <laughs> well, she understands oh. like what Katan gave up to save because she was supposed to be in that position so okay. like that's fair i don't think she. wow so this is a real marriage of <laughs> circumstance okay kind of all right i mean is it every marriage kids so we got we got to move a okay. little oh uh, way faster oh well we you, you said that questions. one that was that one that one's on you quantum you had the note was coming Me? uh-huh 
Well, yeah, you gave Ben a question. I tried himself. to get it out of the way as early as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter I when to it warm happens. I needed to warm everybody up and then let them let them rock. Okay, so mm-hmm. you got to cook. All right, uh, Mr. T Biscuits asks. Uh, so, how many of the main team are good at different voices and such? I've heard Matt and Jake DMing so far are great and hilarious. Are there certain voices each person likes to do? Like, is somebody good at a Pacino or a walk-in or any of that? I would, I would love to hear Ben do a walk-in impression. <laughs> yeah, Ben, go ahead and give us your best walk-in. Well, you know, I can't like do that on cue. Okay, it's like a robot version of him. But, yeah. but like, but like, like if you were to do that and you said, "Who am I?" I would probably I would be know. able to guess it. Yes. The yeah, you need a little more pause. Okay. Yeah, but we have to hurry. <laughs> yeah, we do oh, have to hurry. You're right. You're right. <laughs> okay. that, was a, that was a hurried walking. <laughs> oh, God. That was a jogging. <laughs> a jogging. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that was good. Okay, you've earned yourself five Stupid. more seconds on a question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, is that how we get time? <laughs> yeah, because I'm a quadum, so I've got to award inspiration, you know. It's oh, like one of those, okay. like one of those games you where you got to jump that. to get the clock. Quick. Yep. Okay, Brian, do you have a celebrity impression you like to do? Uh, <laughs> not that I can think of, no. I, mean, do I know you, you have what do one. You what, you what, have what, one what character, have? not a celebrity, but you have a character. He's got a, he's got a couple. I mean, I, I get, give me one and I could probably do it, but I don't really have one that I... You do. No, there's there's somebody one? you're really good at. I'm just trying to remember who yeah. is. There's a couple people he's really good at. A couple? What's the other one? Well, you're thinking, what's are you the, thinking, what's the first one? You're thinking Men in Black, <laughs> I assume. No. Oh, there's one. Oh. How about me? How about Meatwad? That's what Meatwad, that's oh, what I was yeah, going to say. Yeah. Yeah. You do, do Meatwad really for everyone. Meatwad. Come on. Well, how's it doing? <laughs> oh, that is really good. <laughs> but he does a good, <laughs> is he has a good yeah. Edgar suit too. It's He's done it. How's Everybody Durham can do one? a good Edgar suit. Yeah. Do it. Who? <laughs> do it, monkey. Damn. Who, me <laughs> or Brian? No, Brian, do it. Oh, Brian, yeah. It's, it's a long trip. I'll need a snack. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I think yeah. that's I it, like right? That well, wait, what about you, Chris? That's it. That's all I, can. I, I can't do any celebrity impressions, can no, I? Let's, let's hear you so. do walk in. Yeah, let's hear you do walk in. Um, yeah. Yeah, make me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what he says. Just say hey. anything. Hey, I'm Christopher Walken over here. <laughs> okay. I mean, what you said was kind of dumb, but. Why is he New York? Why is he, yeah, why is he from New York? <laughs> yeah, he does kind of like, have a New York. I, I like how you do a walk in. You have I, to do that. But Matt, hey. what was that? Uh, that celebrity uh, that encountered uh, walk in. Uh, Kevin Pollock, right? Was that who it was? Yeah. Or was it, right? I think it was him. Today, what does he I'm do? an alligator. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you kittens. say it twice? An kittens. alligator. Kittens. Yeah. Kittens. Yeah. kittens. I can say oh, words kittens. as him. I do like how you how you combined, I'm, hey, I'm walking here with yeah. Christopher yes. Walken. <laughs> and I love how you don't even realize you did it. And t- and yes, so, I did. That's what I did I on purpose. It. I don't no. know what I was going to say. I was like, I'm Christopher I Walken. Don't. Where's the, where's, oh, yeah. the, nah. where's the thing that lets you make vote a vote system in here? Who, let's all vote for whether or not. Christy. No, I'm the DM. You don't get to make a yeah, decision. I call I BS. Get to You're the quadum BS. is what I you are. BS. I'm the quadum. I win. It's I did the best. Okay, I win. So all the inspiration points for me. Uh, okay, that was fun. Uh, okay, that was a fun. <laughs> that was a fun. Falling apart. Falling apart. Falling apart. <laughs> uh, That's our MO. <laughs> uh, Sachi asks, or Sachi asks, does Milo and Borel's new bird get along or do they live <laughs> oh, each, by each well, other? Giving when we the remember they glances? exist. Oh. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I feel like Milo would like to take a little bite out of him if he got the opportunity, but he's Better forgotten so up. often that he's a never, never around. That opportunity, yeah. <laughs> we could do a one shot where it's like a Sylvester and, and t- t- Petey bird. Um, uh, what? What? <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> you don't think that's that their meant? names, right? No, it's Tweety Bird. There you go. And yeah. the, other the first one, one though? Say that Sylvester, one more time. Sylvester, right? No, you, okay. You got it. You got I, heard, it. I heard Sylvester. Well, yeah, well, I, I, heard so I heard wide. Sylvester. Okay. We'll see, won't we? That's just my tongue it. not... I know, we're, I know words. <laughs> yeah, that, the, the, mind, the mind is willing. The body is unable <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll be, repeated, it'll be repeated four times at the end of the episode if he did, in fact, say Sylvester. Perfect. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, Landrig asks, uh, the worst happens. You all die. Jake allows you to all assume control of one NPC and finish the job as them. Who do you as the player pick and who would the PCs want to take their place? Ooh. One, oh question. God. I mean, like, I want to say, to first. I feel like it'd be kind of cheating just to be like, oh, the strongest character. You know what I mean? Oh. I don't, I don't like that answer. Well, then don't pick that answer. I'm not going to. I, <laughs> I'm not going to. Uh, Can you, you know what? the question again? I'm saying Cannon. So I'm going with, I'm going with my boy Cannon. Cannon. Mm-hmm. Wasn't he the little half rabbit, half boy? Yeah. Little yeah. rabbit boy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going with him. Chrissy, what was the question again? Can you repeat it? Uh, we all die and we have okay. to pick an NPC to finish the job as our character or okay. in place of our character. Who would you pick? Okay. All right. Hmm. Um, I'm going to pick uh, Sven. Ooh. Because I just want to be him and be a silly goose <laughs> and do his little dumb voice and run around making dumb inventions. Hey, some of them are pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, 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 I think K- Katan would want to be Drax and then he would just go jump off a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Revenge! That's just, cheating. Yeah. I could have done that. Just Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> I pick Philippa and I jump off a cliff. All right. Brian? <laughs> I was trying to think of the name. Who's the Who's the Brad Pitt monster? Uh, oh, the Brad Pitt the, fiend. Oh. The Brad Pitt, Pitt fiend. fiend. Oh, the Pitt fiend. Brad Pitt fiend. Yeah, yeah. Brad Pitt fiend. Definitely. Him. <laughs> oh, okay. He was, so yeah, he was great. Yeah. He just wanted to be friends with you guys. He just wanted to come hang. Yeah. yeah. He just needed a hug and a suplex. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I might want to be Rolando, though. Wasn't that the brother? Oh, yeah. Oh, he was good. He was fun he to was play. Fun. He was fun. He was fun. <laughs> or R.L. Speaker. Stein, real life Stein. Real life Stein. Real life Stein was fun. Ooh, <laughs> what about our, I don't Rasta, know. our roster friend? Uh, what was his name? Jo- was it John? John? Who are Johnny? John. Who are we Johnny? talking about? Jimmy? Jen? The one that we set up with the... Uh, Daphne. The Daphne. water nymph. Johnny. Yeah. Johnny, Johnny right? Yeah. 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 It was fun too. There was a lot. I think there was a lot of Johnnies. There was. Oh, I want to be... No, I take it back. I want to be catastrophic Jenny. That's my answer. Done. Mm, oh that's god <laughs> catastrophic jenny is easily the answer now it now matt you can answer this i suppose is the world of your wild west story happening within the same world as jake yes it is it's just like uh, on the other side of a mountain or something yeah it's in the, fr- yeah. it's in the frontier <laughs> oh, okay <Love> it. <laughs> the other frontier <laughs> yeah the yeah that's frontier. it catastrophic jenny uh what, nice i can't wait, wait to bring her back again <laughs> She was fun. Well, if that's the case, then I just want to go back to being uh, John Rampork because <laughs> he's not really an NPC. <laughs> All right. Uh, next question is from Sachi. She says or asks, how does Awen really feel about Lorelai? Any romantic interest? I know this has kind of been addressed, but this was, you know, three years ago that she asked this question. <laughs> OK, well, it's we, clear we that don't... he's avoiding his feelings, blah, 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 blah. But like that also isn't really addressed either. Like, how does he actually feel about it? Uh, it's kind of addressed. Yeah. I mean. Did he make her yes. his girlfriend out of. Oh, I guess we didn't start off by saying big spoiler warnings. <laughs> Will oh, you do well, a little thing of like in the beginning of the episode to tell people? Don't sure. Listen to but I would hope that people wouldn't watch like the. F- the final ep- final campaign spoiler questionnaire. <laughs> yeah, Q&A, yeah. I don't know how mad. podcasts work. Yeah, people, we know. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how podcasts work. I certainly, well, yeah, actually. People don't. Uh, okay. <laughs> yes, he obviously but has. He, he obviously didn't just cares. do it out of obligation, right? No, he does actually. no, no. He very much cares for her. Yes. Okay. I'm sure uh, there's 2% like tactical uh, move in there uh, uh, yeah i'd say i mean he saw the opportunity for it but no he he wouldn't he wouldn't do something if he didn't genuinely feel it about another person like that well, especially making a commitment to a person that's what i'm saying like that's yeah. a big deal so yeah. if that happens it's a it's it's there yeah all right that's a good one uh mimic mango asks what's matt's favorite food with actual lemons in it my favorite with actual lemons? 
maybe this is a reference to the Brazilian lemonade that you've probably talked about that doesn't have lemons in it and confused everyone. Oh, maybe. Um, I don't know. My favorite food with lemons in it. Yeah. Yeah. Actual lemons in it. I don't know. Fake ones. Like uh, uh, a lemon cheesecake is really good. A lemon tart is very good. Uh, I mean, there's like foods that have, oh, like a lemon pasta. Pasta with a lemon sauce is really good. Okay. Those are those are my plenty answers of lemon stuff. You like plenty, plenty of, of real lemons. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> plenty of real. <laughs> plenty. And you then Matt uh, just another eat a lemon rind and all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just right. all. And like Matt's a lemon rind and all. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cute little lullaby. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Lullaby. Uh, another food. Re- <laughs> okay, you get a couple extra seconds on a question. Yes. Good job. Uh, Bloodbender asks another food question. Uh, why do you all hate black licorice? Because it tastes gross. horrible. Yeah. It's gross. <laughs> yeah. It's gross. Now, Wait, the licorice why? flavor itself, like the anise flavor, is fine in conjunction with things. Like in a cocktail, for example, it right. adds a little funk to a drink. That's lovely. Uh, just eating it straight. Yeah, you're crazy. Not. You're wild. It's just yuck, yuck, yuck. Ew, ew, ew. Now, yeah, you're, not, you're not just drinking absinthe, you know? Do you just guys, like, oh, yeah. I mean, you guys don't like Jaeger. Right. No, Jaeger smells and tastes Ugh. horrible. Yeah. I, I've i dabbled. Yeah, well, of course you've dabbled. Mean? What does that mean exactly? Jaeger bombs. How do you, oh, well. So it's, you don't really taste it as much. Because that's that's half, well, actually mostly Red Bull. So, Well, I, yeah. I, but. I might be getting this <laughs> wrong, but there's something I used to drink when I wanted to get like just messed up called a Starry Night. Where you take, um, you oh take God. Jaeger. Is that like Goldschlager or something? Yeah, you take Jaeger and you mix it with Joel, oh. Goldschlager. Uh, <laughs> it's, oh just like, it's just like 50 50, and you just take it and you just. Ew, I haven't heard of this. <laughs> is that, yeah, that's uh, is it like a shot? Frat boy thing right to do. Up, right up my alley. Yeah. <laughs> Starry Night, like it's all artsy. <laughs> well, I think also because yeah, after yeah, you've had a few of them, that's the way the world looks. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, it's lights out for you. Yeah. <laughs> That okay, so miserable. sorry, we all hate it's licorice. Crazy. There's nothing yeah. you can do <laughs> to fix it. Yeah, I just Googled it. How to make a Starry Night shot featuring Goldslogger and Jaeger. Yeah. Oh um, my God. So you do that, have about three of those, and then let me know how it goes. <laughs> don't, I don't recommend anyone doing that. He is <laughs> yeah. a health professional, but we don't recommend you doing that. <laughs> yeah, don't do this if you're over 27. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, T Biscuits asks, is Borl's name actually pronounced the way Brian says it with the rules? Because he's still the only one who says it that way. And that's really <laughs> funny to me that we just don't acknowledge that you always say his name as Borel. <laughs> and we don't pronounce it that way ever. So yeah, which way Borel, is the way his mother pronounced it. So. <laughs> so is it actually pronounced that way? Or are we saying uh, it all Bor- wrong? No, it's just Borel. <laughs> okay. No, okay. I, was, I just said it funny just to be silly but yeah no, it's, it's just <laughs> well boral. it's not silly it's confusing everyone yeah no it's like it's like boar space apostrophe el you know yeah like i'm right. superman's kid or some shit <laughs> it'd be like if you just constantly said like yes my name is brian <laughs> yeah, exactly. and then everyone was like nice to meet you brian <laughs> and then you did I that for your entire brian. life <laughs> and nobody said a word about it yeah. i'm so glad your nobody name isn't brian <laughs> <laughs> who, who asked that question tea and biscuits Yes. That's a good yeah. question. I never, good, yeah. I never really acknowledged that. <laughs> yeah. I know. I was like, oh, that's really good. We this, just This poor guy, every time I'm saying it, and he's just like, are we just not going to address that? <laughs> so rude. Get, he you did get it so again. mad. <laughs> it's episode he's 300. Got a, he's got a, he's got a oh spreadsheet out. So disrespectful. No wonder he he's, hates everybody. He's uh, like Charlie, the meme with all like that. He's like, this many times Borel has referenced <laughs> yes. as Borel. Borel. All right. Uh, T-Biscuits also ask another question. Which of you have expectant energy every Monday release, even though it's pre-recorded? So like, hmm. do you get excited when an episode comes out, I guess? Like, does anyone get like, ooh. I think Certain in the beginning episodes. we all did. Yes. Beginning, yeah. yeah. Certain episodes I, I a- now are like, when I know Matt's going to put some sick ass music behind it, we had like a really good moment. Yeah. I get excited for those when I know it's a heavy episode. I can't wait to hear the production and like all the stuff that goes into the after. I feel yeah. relief is what I feel. 
Because <laughs> <laughs> I've worked on the episode. Yeah, especially if it's a heavy one. I've put about five-ish plus hours to one episode if I have to create something or make some yeah. music. So after I'm done, I'm like, oh God, it's done. It's over. They always sound great. So thank yes. you. Sure. That's a good one. Always. No, they, uh, well, yes. until yeah. someone f- <laughs> records through their webcam microphone, then, you know, uh, then there's I'm not so only excited. so much that I can do. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. I didn't Hair. check that before starting today. <laughs> well, you know. All right. Hair Illustrations asks, what's the current favorite cocktail of choice for recording? So now we're not together anymore. A starry night. So... <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's an individual favorite cocktail, I guess. What do we like to sip on? Well, it's been summer, so anything like tiki or or a little on the the, the cooler, chiller side for me, it mm-hmm. ranges depending on what I feel like. So painkiller, I'd say painkiller. That's probably the one I'd need the most for recording. Yeah, I okay. got I got my top three. So top three. my mm. current favorite that I have fallen in love with after uh, Brian and Christy made it. Mm, when I was yes. back in town, the Angle Lada. Oh Ooh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. I have been pounding those things nonstop. Your <laughs> poor bank account. <laughs> uh, so we bought we bought a, a bunch of, I've, and I think we've had like, we've both probably had somewhere around like eight drinks. That's a lot of Angle. So of in, in a single yeah. sitting? No, 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 no. <laughs> like two, two a night. No, just like kind of spread out. Angle's expensive, so. Yes, 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 it is. It very much is. <laughs> I will. I will make a note to put a painkiller recipe and a angolata recipe, and then bees knees the- and paper plane. Mm. Those are my always like top two go to solid choices. Mm-hmm. Brian, do we have any other ones other than that that we like to hit? I mean, just whatever we kind of have on hand. I mean, I think just going back in the history of, you know, just this uh, podcast, I think. Just a solid margarita or a spicy margarita. Oh yeah. Um, I mean, uh, I, yes. Look, I am. I'm probably if if you like make me a drink right now, I'll make you something with rum tiki inspired because I've got just a thousand recipes. But yeah, just I think the over overarching consensus. I mean, we used yes. to make a ton of spicy margaritas around here. Yes. Oh yeah. We did. Uh, we did. I yeah, do. Say- I do miss that. Those are, all the ones much. that listed are the ones I have. I always have three bevies going. I've got, I've always got a coffee, a water, and then whatever little fun drink. You're, you're a three bev girl. I am. Benjamin, what about you? You know, I, I'm the only one in my household who drinks, uh, mostly because that would be really concerning if my children did, um, in hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Um, so I don't really have, I don't have like a whole liquor set up. Um, so if I am going to have a drink, I just have beer. I just have like a, mm. like a, like whatever, a Bud Light or something, just because I, it's just the effort that would have to go into making something. Uh, it's just kind of not worth it just to be like, what am I trying eh. to get here? No, I'm trying to one get one simple cocktail you can make anytime you feel like it. Water? A Starry Night. Oh, oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> well, who the I don't have a gold schlager nowadays. <laughs> yeah, I just, they don't have that sitting around. Um, Blip. <laughs> no, yeah. So it's just, I usually, I mean, I just don't. I, I, and the other thing is, is I don't usually, unless I'm with you guys, I don't usually drink when I'm recording because uh, I get slurry. So I have to, I, I start to uh, make a lot of racial That's slurs. Part of no, it, I know. I tend to, I tend to slur hard. my words. Um, so I, I, uh, I just kind of don't do it that much. All right. Uh, Bloodbender asks, what is each cast member's favorite cryptid? I'll go Ooh. first because I already know mine. Uh, Loch Ness Monster. Why? Nessie. Why that one? I just like that it's, there. there's nothing really scary about her existence. She's just out there chilling. Uh-huh. <laughs> <It's> like <laughs> swimming around. She's not trying to eat anybody's kids. She's not like biting toes off. She's just like, she's out there just hanging around just a little yeah, she, it, you water don't hear, dragon. Yeah, you don't hear like the Jersey Devil where like it, yeah, it takes people's scary. souls and all these things. Just yeah, a I guess peaceful that's true. creature just kind of wandering around in the water. It's lo- it's lovely. It's peaceful. Okay. That's mine. I mean, Who do else? I go, do I go Yeti? Because Yeti? it's, you know, it's, it's a Disney tie-in from the Matterhorn, mm-hmm. which I kind of like. Okay. 
I think that's what I think I'm going to go Yeti. Okay. And is it just because Disney related? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Jake? Or Ben? I was going to say in a very similar sense, I was going to go with Sasquatch or Bigfoot. Um, ah, the Sasquatch. Bigfoot's a good one. And yes. I, the reason why is, is somebody said something one time about him that I thought was hilarious. They said, uh, the thing about Bigfoot nobody realizes is, is that everyone has managed to take a photo of him. He's just blurry in real life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's <cool. laughs> it's just, like that's that. just his, that's just the thing about him. He's just naturally yeah. blurry. And then like, you remember those uh, jerky commercials with the Sasquatch and yeah, those uh, are good. Yeah. And you see, I don't know. It's just like, it's just the idea Harry of just and the like Henderson's, you know? Yeah. Just this big, angry, like dumb ape who like gets into trouble. I, mean, I don't know. He just, it's a fun little, in hindsight, I'm sure somebody at some point just lost a gorilla just <laughs> in the woods. And then somebody was like, lost Holy shit. a gorilla. <laughs> yeah. Probably lost somebody probably had like some illegal animal trade and just like one got away. And then they were just like, Holy shit, there's a gorilla in these woods. Those don't exist here. Must be a Sasquatch. There you go. All right. Jake, Brian. Uh, are there, are there any others? Mothman. I mean, <laughs> I was going to say uh, Mothman. Mothman There's just so because the idea of that is wild. Just like this yeah. uh, future scene, giant moth that's like highly intelligent. It's yeah. also fright- very frightening. If I saw that thing, I would freak the fuck out. You know, now that I think about it, it's weird that when we think of cryptids, we think of like, well, there's like the American cryptids that we know, and then there's like there's Transylvanian so cryptids, and then that's about it. I don't know of any others, and I'm sure well, other oh, cultures tons. have so Spanish, many. Spanish, like Chupacabra. Yes. Right. Chupacabra. I, we know that one. Uh, but like, there's I'm a lot sure. of Japanese ones that are mostly just ghosts. Yeah. Ghosts. Oh, like the Oni's, like the, the, yeah. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Brian, can I interest you in the skunk ape? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I just pulled up a list too. I, I got one. A skunk or jackalope or something? The yeah. Mongolian, Mongolian death worm. And Ooh. these are my favorite cryptid. <laughs> no, we Honey, just that's, our, that's our private name for in the bedroom. You're not Ew, supposed to uh, see that on the phone. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well. Yes, well, that's very fun. The word's out now. <laughs> well, the word's out. Uh, there the is a, there's out. a lovely, the, the worm out. is out. There's a lovely children's book that Ollie has that is uh, cryptids from all over the globe. And it's very fun. It's like little illustrated cartoons and it explains oh, I forgot about the that book. history of them. And it's lovely. I highly recommend if anybody would like, I'll try to find a picture of it and I'll pop it up. Jake, your cat keeps jumping on the, uh, on the uh, shelf behind you. This is yeah. like the third time I've caught him like jump up there. It always grabs my attention. Um, Distracted by kitty. Okay. Yeah, I enjoy the... Oh, I was just going to say, I also enjoy the concept of a jackalope because everyone's like, look, a rabbit with a bone tumor must be a cryptid. The poor thing's just sick. It's very sick. (laughs) Yeah, it's just a sick Um, animal and everyone's like, must be (laughs) a bunch of uneducated hicks are like, oh, look, it's a a unicorn rabbit. (laughs) The poor thing's like, help me. (laughs) Help, I'm stuck. Okay, Bloodbender asks, if the party were characters in a fighting game, what would their move set be? Like a finishing move, a combo. Oh, you wouldn't even be able to select my character at, at the character selection. <laughs> it would just be yeah, you would just, character. You would just go to press it and it would just like kind of just disappear and then all the other characters would form in around it and you'd be like, <laughs> where did they want to go? <laughs> and you just wouldn't the be heck? able to you wouldn't even be able to, to select him. So a snow win would be his yeah. Move. Yes. yes. <laughs> just you like, can only play as Snow Wind, and he just stands yes. there, and he loses every time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Marvel great. versus Capcom versus New Crits on the Block. Yes. I think um, Leaf would would do two two failed uh, spells as her move set, and then maybe one Thorn Whipped for like six <laughs> points of damage. She'd be like, "Get over here!" I, I guess. Yay! I did it. <laughs> Get over here or whatever. That's her. That's actually her win condition. Is just getting a thorn whip off. Yep. Boys. Moral. Catan. I mean, Catan would smite something. Um, I mean, what else does paladins do? Uh, Yeah, I mean, I guess he would probably do like a, like a charge shield bash smite thing you know like a quick mm. a quick like close the distance and hit you hard kind of thing um 
You probably do a bunch of fizzle vein first. You do a bump of coke and then he would charge you and crush you with a single attack. <laughs> well, that's your like move. that's your like limit break, right? Like when yeah. you don't have enough <laughs> power gauge, you can unleash your, that. <laughs> your character evolution over the years has been wild. <laughs> 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 have to keep him interesting. What can I say? Yeah. <laughs> as soon right. as Jake was like, there's drugs, I'm like, I'm going to hold I'm on to doing. those. <laughs> I mean, something to do with fire, something creative to do with fire, I would imagine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, All right. Really? Not a, rest, not a wrestling move? A Hadouken, I think, would be right up your alley. I mean, close quarters, I'd try to do something fun, but no, it'd, it'd be burninating all day. <laughs> you can pull back to arc one and do a drop kick or arc two. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. No, that's like episode four or something. Yeah. Yeah. Very early on. Okay. Mr. T Biscuits asks, what did you guys want to be when you were kids? Uh, I wanted to be a, I think we answered this already. I wanted to be a garbage man. Yeah. That was my first job I wanted to be when I was a kid. They make bank. Yeah. Pretty great. I called it a garbage man. I would hang off the side of my sister's crib when she was a baby and throw trash in it like I was a garbage <laughs> man. And then my mom would come in and be like, why is why is my very small child covered with random household <laughs> objects? And I'm like, take out the trash, mom. <laughs> and so Katie, my sister Katie Jesus. would just like look up, just covered in whatever Garbage. I could find. Yeah. No, it, 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 it wouldn't be straight up trash. It would just be things from around the house. Yeah. <laughs> just coffee, trash just use coffee filters. Yeah. Coffee mugs, <laughs> pillows, so blankets, would you like, shoes. Would you like hit the side of it and then just like kind of hang on with one on with one hand and, <laughs> yeah. and one like foot? Lee. No. Yeah. yeah I would get, I would find my gardening gloves in the, in the garage. Hang on to those. Love it. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Uh, at first, I wanted to be a vet, but then I discovered quickly how much work that takes and that the animals um, die a lot of the time and people get very upset with you. So I quickly changed. Well, if you do my, a bad job. Yeah, well, my plan. What's to the be, what's the first thing you wanted to be, Christy? The first thing I wanted to be was a vet. What did you want to be oh. before that, though? Oh, well, OK. <laughs> the first thing before I knew this wasn't actually a job, but I wanted to be a a lion. <laughs> yeah, see, this is a much more interesting <laughs> well, you yeah, job, I, wanted, you, I believe. I to you, be uh, an your actual job, the first lion. human yes. lion hybrid. <laughs> My job, when someone asked me, I think it was like three, what I wanted to be when I grew up, I said a lion. <laughs> so like, <laughs> like, I'm just like, like a I guess I assume I'd get paid for it. Yeah, entertaining people with my lionness, the first, I guess. Honestly, the first influencer. Yeah, that would be me. Could you imagine if I succeeded, guys? I'd be- now. Here's a question. Would you be a male lion or a lioness? That's a very good question. I think at three, I didn't quite have that figured out. So probably a male lion because it would have been way more impressive. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. With the mane and everything. But only if you are the leader of the pack. Like imagine being the male lion who just got his ass beat and it has to still be alone. Just just weak, injured and sexless. Like. No. (laughs) It's like me now. Oh. (laughs) Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, what about you guys? <laughs> uh, I think mine was kind of basic. I think I wanted to be a firefighter. And then nice. once I learned to how hot fire was, I was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'm, I'm cool off of that. That's... <laughs> hey, guys, that's dangerous. <laughs> hey, fire's hot. <laughs> hey, dude. That's not fire cool. Fire is, is hot. I thought you just got... I, got, I thought that you, like, you get to play with it and stuff like you just get to like you start the fire and that is not true <laughs> so you want to be an arsonist is what you <laughs> yeah i guess <laughs> i guess honestly i just wanted to be an arsonist but also learned that fire is hot so you know i like it all right brian i wanted to be a ghostbuster <sighs> oh <laughs> absolutely good answer. yeah yeah very well good. with this next podcast show we're starting you kind of get to be so <laughs> yep i i i wanted to be a ghostbuster so bad i had all the things when i was a kid well, all the things that i could possibly buy with the amount of money that i had at what you know five six years old it was a good fit yeah matt had all that stuff sure did just the tra- yeah. i had the trap i had the proton pack i had the jumpsuit yep. had it all yeah, I even had the one from Ghostbusters 2 that like shot the little pink slime out. Oh, I don't know if I had that. Yeah. 
Did it actually shoot slime? Really no, itself. it was just a piece of plastic that just <laughs> shot out and just stayed okay. there. <laughs> I was like, there is no way I'd let my kids have that. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was a different time back then. Yeah, we were... Yeah, but when you were is, a kid, Ben, you very much wanted that. Yeah. yeah. Nerf I just went over to Matt's house and played with him. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. All right. Ben? Uh, I... You know what? I was pretty. I was pretty basic. I wanted to be a vet, and then my grandmother convinced me that I should be a tree doctor, and I didn't quite understand what that meant. And it wasn't until later on I learned that she meant like an arborist. Mm -hmm. But then, like people were like, "Nah, I think she means those people who climb up trees and just like cut them down." And so, like, I was like, "Oh, that all sounds like a lot of work." Um. And so vet was kind of it for a while. And then when I got older, I did want to be a firefighter. And in fact, I even was part of the like you volunteer junior firefighter volunteer program. Aww, at the, so cute. But the problem is, is nobody was there. So I went down there and then they were like, oh yeah, the guy who runs, it's not here. And I was like, oh, okay, what do I do? And he's like, I don't know, learn to tie some knots. So like I learned to tie some knots. Um, and then he was like, yeah, come back next Saturday. And then I came back next Saturday and there was still nobody there. And I was like, can I talk to the guy who runs this? And then they're like, oh, yeah, I don't know when he'll be back. And then after doing this for like a month, I just stopped going because nobody was ever there and there seemed to be no coordination. I don't think there was a program. <laughs> All right. You would like to. Yeah. And then, and then I learned fire's really hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> want to do it, it is. Yeah. Good job, guys. But I will admit, though, it sounds, I mean, like the idea of just being like, yeah, you work for like two weeks straight and then you just get two weeks off. And you get paid to sleep or not sleep sometimes. Um, there you go. Yeah, you get paid to either do nothing or do everything. And I was like, that sounds okay. I love it. All right. Uh, Mimic Mango asks, who runs and answers the comments while using the new crits Insta? Uh, I think originally that was mostly Jake. Yeah. Then me for a time. And now no one. <laughs> it got taken out. Instagram is just nothing but bots now. So yeah. Uh, someone will respond to you, I think. We don't know. <laughs> yeah. But we all have access. So that's that answer. If I see like go something that actually, like a comment that's not a bot, because most of the notifications I get are just. Yeah, it's a lot. DM a lot me. Spam. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Gray <laughs> Senpai. We're moving on. We got to go quick. We got a lot more. Yeah. Uh, Gray Senpai. Uh, dumb question. I know maybe is already answered somewhere, but what subclass is Leaf? Um, I'm just going to go quickly through the suggestions that the chat in Discord had to offer because they didn't have an answer for this. Team damage. Was somebody <laughs> oh, response. good. Chaos. Was someone else? <laughs> uh, kill civilians. <laughs> was also a good one. Yeah, when you drown uh, them all, uh huh? Yeah. yeah, sweet hair put subclass is adorable cutie. <laughs> I like that too. <laughs> Thank you, and hair. Then the response, so Grace up by said, so war criminal? <laughs> and then <laughs> team anti-heal. And then there was a lot more war criminal uh, <laughs> class huh. suggestions after that. Uh, my a lot of war crime jokes a, here. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a subclass. I just took a feat that gave me a magic initiate, which gives me a couple warlock spells. That's, you do have a subclass, Christy. Yeah, your subclass was land. Yeah. And oh, no, that's not a subclass. No, that's that my druid circle. That's not the same yeah, that, thing. It's Christy. Hey, Christy. Is it? <laughs> that's what a subclass is. Really? Yeah. The circle? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's land. What do you think a subclass is? <laughs> I just said like another class, like multi class. No, that's what yeah, that would be a multi class. No. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, so for example, example it, that's of that's what is a different word for it. Uh, they could do better. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. But yeah, you were land. You started out as moon and then we very quickly I, yeah, switched to like land. That. Yeah. Yeah. Land was what I went with. Um, Mr. Tebis asks, in the next campaign, are death, player deaths going to be a thing? Will players probably play multiple characters? Um, so the ben? way the next thing we're going to run, which is called Blades in the Dark, works is that it's a little hard to die, but it can happen. Um, mostly your characters might leave the campaign because they get overstressed or they suffer consequences that force them to leave temporarily. Um, so a lot of this is think, think like, um, uh, darkest dungeon, like stress induced, like, uh, madness inflictions kind of situation. So there is a very good possibility that other characters will be played because they might have to, because things might happen that force your character to leave for 
a couple episodes. Um, also, you might need other types of characters. Like you might need to be something that you're not currently. And, you know, you could like, I could play the NPC and be that character or you guys can do it. It's kind of designed to have multiple. Um, so death, entirely possible. Stressed out of the campaign, also entirely possible. Other characters for fun. Sounds great. Uh, it's very narrative. Um, and not so much like mechanics first, but more storytelling first. So uh, it's kind of whatever people want to do and however it goes. Okay. Uh, very good. Great. We're all going to die. So yep. you might. <laughs> Comes down to the uh, rules. <laughs> Saska asks, uh, so what are some books or book series that everyone loved either growing up or recently? Uh, Chronicles of Narnia was one of my favorite book series growing up and Lord of the Rings. Those are two, two that I read often okay. and really got me into fantasy as a kid. Um, nice. Mine are the Night Angel trilogy from Brent Weeks. Love that. That was like the mm -hmm. book series that got me into reading. And then uh, I don't, I can't remember the series name, but it's the, the first book is The Warded Man. I forget the author for that one, but that one's really good. Another fantasy style. Yeah, yeah. Both okay. fantasy. Nice. Brian Bed. Um, there's a few uh, sort of in the the genre of fantasy. Uh Lord of the Rings, I read as a kid and as an adult. I just so fucking good. Uh the other one, one of my favorite authors as a kid was a guy named Bruce Coville. He uh or Coville. He wrote <laughs> A uh, couple of really good ones. One was uh, Goblins in the Castle. It was really good. Um, and then he wrote a, a series of really silly books. Uh, Aliens Ate My Homework. Uh, alien, like something like Aliens like Took My Teacher or something like that. Just really <laughs> silly books. And I've got like, I think I've got the whole series and I've been yeah. periodically reading them to Ollie uh, once in a while. That, that's so. fun. Yep. Very nice. Benjamin? You know, I had a really hard time as a kid reading. Uh, I was always like borderline ADHD. So if I sat down with a book and I started reading it, I would get about half a page in and my mind would go somewhere else. And then I would read 50 pages and then suddenly realize I was reading and not remember anything I read. So I didn't really read a lot as a kid because I just, for some reason, couldn't focus. Um, I did read the entire Lord of the Rings uh, trilogy, and I don't remember any of it. Um, <laughs> I I just kind of look. I just kind of looked at the words, if that explains it. As an adult, when I somehow uh, regained my focus, um, I read a lot of uh, Robert Hyland. Uh, he's the guy who did uh, Starship Troopers. Um, uh, so it's like the first sci-fi writer ever to be taken seriously. Um, I, I love Douglas Adams. He did The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the five-book trilogy. Um, he's hilarious. I highly recommend people read him if you want a good laugh. Um, I also uh, really enjoyed Chuck Palahniuk, um, Fight Club. Uh, his stuff is just like dark and twisted and like really fucked up. Um, those are so... Oh, and um, Kurt Vonnegut. Kurt Vonnegut does a lot of like... He did Slaughterhouse-Five. Uh, you probably read that in high school. So yeah, I got into reading more when I got older, but as a kid, I just, I just couldn't, my brain just wouldn't do it. Nice. Well, I think we all know, um, what kind of books I read now. Yeah. Smut. Yeah. As an adult. <laughs> Shrek smut. Yes. Yeah. Weird, am, weird, weird smut. Weird alien I have not smut. read the Shrek. I have not read the Shrek. Have yet. you read that weird alien um, one yet? <laughs> No, I am reading Akatar right now. Obviously, it's the most basic of all, uh, but I'm, it's my gateway drug, so I'm sure I'll be reading more of them. Um, as a kid, my favorite, favorite book series, which I know I've also mentioned, is Animorphs. I, that is what got yep. me into reading and continued my reading love. Um, I also like uh, K.A. Applegate is the author. She also did Everworld, which was a, a smaller series that was like mythology uh, transport into mythology worlds. There was lots of gods from all over the world. Um, that was fantastic. And I just really liked, I was a nerd and I liked all of my English books that we were assigned. So all the classics I, I loved, like I adored, I mean, obviously the answer catcher in the rye, cause everybody loves that. But like, I loved every book that I was forced to read for school. 
Um, I yeah, hated so them was, all. Really? You didn't even good. like the Odyssey or like... Of Mice Odyssey, and Men Iliad. Was really fun. That was probably Iliad. Mice and Men was good. Of Mice and Western Men Western Front. Yeah. Western Front, yeah. All Quiet. The Red Badge of Courage. <laughs> yeah. There was there were um, so many good ones, but yeah, I, I, I really liked reading. So as a kid, I don't do as much as an adult and I need to work on that. So that's that one. Um, let's see. We've got Mr. Hodgepodge asks... Oh, we already know the answer to this. If Ben ever runs a campaign, will all the characters be literal rule followers governing how the adventures are and not guided by law? Uh, well, no, that's the thing about the next thing we're running, Blades in the Dark, is that like the rules are so loose. I mean, one of the rules is kind of do whatever you want. And as long okay. as you can like vaguely justify it, you can do it. So that's why I chose this campaign because I didn't want to spend all this time just fucking arguing with you guys about like, well, you can't, you can't technically do that. Um, so, so actually, no, not really. <laughs> we're going to, we're going to remind you of the rules all the time. We're going to flip the script. That's yeah, kind of. Okay. Okay. Uh, Landrig asks, uh, this question is assuming you're entering Endgame, which we have, and have lots of big moments coming. Oh, we've kind of already answered this. Our favorite moments. Yeah, we've already kind of covered that. Listen to another Q&A if you'd like to know more. Is there any new moments that anyone would like to share? I don't know what the last moments were, so. Uh, <laughs> when I when I finally killed um, uh, Helium. <laughs> Oh, oh, that was, was nice. that was fun. That was that was good. really yeah. satisfying. <laughs> that slingshot move was great. Oh yeah, the whole thing leading up to it was great. Um, uh, Mr. T Biscuit, we're gonna move on because we got so many more to go to. Um, Mr. T Biscuits asks, uh, what would each of your ideal tabletop RPG campaigns be? Grim, dark, goofy, fantasy, sci-fi. If you could play a role-playing game based in any anime, show, movie, game genre. What would it be? Uh, honestly, I'm going to keep mine saying Western. I love yeah. the Tall Tales Western that I do. I have so much fun doing it. I love pulling from different things, um, and I hope to continue to do so. So that's I'm I'm sticking with that as my answer. Yeah, I like it. Anyone else? I, mean, I like I, fantasy. It's just yeah. a place I'm more comfortable, and I like goofy. Obviously, but <laughs> I'm more comfortable fans. in my fantasy world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah me too. It's, it's, <laughs> I like when there's more, you know, magic and stuff going on. Yeah, so. I, I love like high magic. So, yeah, Brian, what about you? Yeah, I, yeah. sci-fi probably. Yeah, I was gonna say. I, th I feel yeah. like you would want to do sci-fi. I point. would yeah. love for you to run like a sci-fi one. There's a Star Trek. Uh, I, I, there's PTRPG. Star Trek. Oh. Star Wars. There's a bunch of them. Yeah. Let's do it. I'm, I'm going to go with the dark one. I mean, A, I'm, the next thing I'm running is literally has the word yeah. dark in it. But when I ran something, there was still like, if you remember, there was like eldritch horror shit going on. I, I kind of like that whole like um, madness, like things suck. Chaos. Terrible. Yeah. All right. Uh, Dear Editor Supreme asks, how is Beardrum's now toddler doing and will there be a return? Uh, toddler's doing great. They, he also has a second son, now a little baby, Cooper, and they are both doing wonderful. Toddler is running amok and Cooper is a sweet little bean. Um, and then he has another question, which is for Matt. And it's, I know y'all record about four episodes in a session, but do you wait until the release week for each episode to record your middle breaks? Also, what DAW do you use for editing? Will the yes. next can and will the next campaign be set in the same realm realm? So we can answer that after. But uh no, yeah, I rec I record the middle breaks as I'm uploading the episode. So they literally are recorded Sundays as I upload or Saturdays, depending. And the uh the DAW that I use is Adobe Audition. And the DAW that I use for the uh, creation of the music is uh, BandLab. All right. And it will not be in the name, the same realm. No, correct, no totally different. Yeah, we're in a completely different place. Yeah. No connections. Okay, we did celebrity impressions already, but thank you, Blood, for that question. Um, okay, this question I think got answered in the chat, so we can just answer it very quickly. How do we handle crits? Do we double the dice? Do we bonus... Blah, blah, blah. 
And this is from Josh Shawa. Per rules as written, you double the <laughs> dice rolled. <laughs> well, um, some people homebrew it in a different way. There was lots of discussion in the chat about this. So I just wanted to answer our way quickly and then we move double on. Double the damage. There, but yeah, we double the damage. Okay. Uh, we know who's going to DM series two. Unfortunately, it's Ben. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are okay so Hodge asks what are the cast members most excited about for the second campaign I'm excited to try this new system I think it's yeah, I'm, I'm, exci- yeah. I'm excited just to play another character I mean I get to yeah. often when I do my little DMs but I, I just like playing new characters it's just fun yeah. I enjoy it that was going to be my answer too yeah like just as much as I love Leaf it's, it's going to be fun to kind of mix it up in that space and and the new system just playing something different and learning how it works yeah yeah, it's it's always fun to start a new like when you start like a new RPG and then they're like, "What are you gonna be?" and then you're like, "I can be anything, Stealth Archer. Like, <laughs> 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 I can be anything, human with a sword." Um, <laughs> yeah, but well, yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's always so. Let me spend let me spend three hours making my face so I can put a helmet on and never see it again. Right. <laughs> yeah, Brian, Ben, do you have your own answers for that question? I mean, I'm just terrified to be in charge and run a story. So you're not and, excited at all. You're just scared. Uh, I'm excited <laughs> and scared. You I know. Scared yeah, I mean, just years. creating a whole new, you know, backstory and everything is gives me a bit of anxiety. But it, it kind of, the character for me always just kind of like, you know, flushes itself out as the story goes on. Yeah, I can't, mm. I'm not very good at coming up with, you know, That's kind of how this system is designed. You're not really supposed to know everything. It just kind of happens. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Uh, Landrig asks, uh, oh, we, yes, this is kind of simple. We do have our characters created already. Landrig, thank you for that question. Uh, you, dear you, editor, you will Supreme, meet them in episode zero. <laughs> yes. Yep. Dear editor Supreme asks, are we getting a banjo beard for the finale? We did not get a banjo. We did not. Did not get beer drum for the finale. I would still love to address his backstory, which yes. we have not done yet. Um, some side stories with that. So we'll see if we can coerce him into coming to record with us. It's hard because he doesn't have his own setup um, like we do now. So we'd have to figure that out. But we are in talks. We will hopefully get something. Um, is dear editor also asks, is season two going to be a multi-year event? Are we going to drag it out? <laughs> uh, what do you think, Ben? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We'll see how I it mean, goes. I don't yeah, think we'll it'll see. go on for five uh, years, five years, which I don't know if anyone was aware of this, but we released episode zero on August 5th and we released the final epilogue episode on August 5th, which is just- Really wild. Really wild and totally not intended. Nope. Um, not at yep. all. Just blew my mind when I noticed that. I was just like, <laughs> that is pretty wow, crazy. what are the chances? I, I don't think it'll be multiple years. Um, we'll see how it Maybe goes. We might, we might love this and do it for a while. It might fizzle out after a year. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, the Gremlin Adult asks for Christy, what is your favorite part uh, of being the Druid class? Any advice for players who want to be that class? Don't, don't. Uh, <laughs> don't. No, uh, my favorite part is obviously turning into animals and just the creativity that goes along with that. Um, the spells are great too. I mean, there's so many good spells. If I had advice, it would be to study your spells. <laughs> <laughs> And what I used to do when we when we played in person and we had the cards and we weren't going like in early campaign, like early levels, it's really easy to like organize your spells as you get higher up. It's harder, but like organizing them by type of spell they are, whether they are a damage dealer, whether they are um, a uh, a buff for your players or if they take concentration, like sorting them out in that way so that you kind of have an idea of what you do in each situation is very helpful. So I suggest that. Um, and it's very fun. Um, and they have another question, which is for Jake saying, why did you decide to be a D- DM? And if you could go back in time and had the chance, would you have not become one? And would, Or would you have taken the DM role anyways? Um, I think it kind of just fell... Because we, we started playing... I came to you wanted Christy, to yeah I we I, I went to well I bought everything already yeah. <laughs> I had purchased all the stuff I just really wanted to play and I looked out online 
And they're like, yeah, it's really hard to find a dungeon master. And I was like, well, shit, looks like I want to be a dungeon master now because I really want to <laughs> play. But you know what, Jake? I really appreciate that from you. That you were like, hey, if you want shit done, you do it yourself. Yeah, I just, I, it just sounded super fun to play. And I remember, I think I talked to Christy and Matt about it or maybe yeah. Christy and maybe all three of you guys Christy Matt and Brian because I was we, at your I think house. we've answered this before yeah well we, yeah we've talked about us how we started and stuff yeah. but um, yeah yeah no it just it kind of and no I don't think I would go back and change it uh, would I have wanted yeah. to play a little bit more yes as a like player definitely but well, you're going to know. Yes. There we go. <laughs> all right. Uh, Landrick asks, now that it's all over, do you all have a favorite moment that either of your own or someone else's, um, even something that Jake did that you loved? Uh, my favorite moment in the podcast is uh, Mel's death scene. Yeah, I still think it hits the hardest. <laughs> I still think that, that, is that to me, when I think about the the production, the delivery, everything about it is... Yeah. That whole, I was. I don't want to be I, biased, but that's my. Favorite <laughs> no, it's so movie. good. It's but so, like, I I really put my heart into that one. Yeah, that really the I was for that arc. I don't know what it was, but I was in my creative bag for that one because the Capati the Potty theme song, so the theme song for what was the guy's name? The head guy, head druid guy. Oh, uh, oh Fargus. Um, Fargus, yeah. his theme song, and then Mel's theme so as she good. dies. Those three, like in, the, in a couple episodes, I was like, all right, that was my. Yeah. That was that was it for me. I'm done. That was I'm your magnum here. opus. That was that was yes. That was my piece de resistance. I am done. Good night. Everyone. I had a lot of fun with that arc. Yeah, that was the arc I got I liked, together with uh, Doctor Crisper. Yeah, for the that plants. One was really fun. I liked some of your NPCs, uh, obviously in the earlier episodes, but the seer I think was one that I really enjoyed. Anytime Jake would have him appear, or they appear, I loved it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that fun. That character. in regard, I mean, I agree in regards to like emotional connection and how serious it was. Yes. Chris, Christie's arc with, with Mel and everything was beautiful for fun, for fun. I loved sneaking into the castle at Faylair. Everybody mm. was doing something hilarious there. And so yeah, Matt good. and I being rat exterminators, Christy pulling a brave heart, uh, viva la rat, rat <laughs> viva rat, la rat, rat rat revolution. Yeah, Sweet. yeah. Just all of yes. that was just, oh my God. And you just sitting there holding the rat who got stomped on as you're yeah. putting cheese on your face like battle paint. And <laughs> oh my God. I think some of it the funnest great. moments in the podcast have been split party interactions. The, the yeah, castle they say, they say don't split the party. The winter was so much fun. The dancing yeah, with Yeah, I Catan. really like it. Well, when Brian and I had to fast talk the Goblin King and we were doing like the presentation, you know, in the office, we were doing the pitch and we were just like fast talking the whole time. Uh, I thought that was one of my favorite moments. It just came together well. And then the uh, the moment with Ben when we were the rat exterminators. Yeah. All yeah. rats. <laughs> all rats. Yeah, so uh, they, all always rats. Tell, they always tell you in D&D, &D, do not split the party, do not split the party, do not split the party. I think that's when you're like, running a hard D and D rule based campaign where it's just like, well, you just walked into a room with 15 orcs and now you're dead. Yeah. But if it's narrative, if it's narrative, oh man, that's so much fun. It's so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> I will say since he's not here, Beardrum in the Coliseum fight um is another one of my oh, favorite moments. That was, really that was so good. That yeah. whole fight scene. Uh, I had he so much so fun nervous. building out the fan noise and all the reactions to everything that happened mm -hmm. and the music. Uh, and just how that how that played out was incredible. Yeah. <laughs> so that, oh man, we had a lot of good. There's yeah. so many <laughs> over five Wait, years. Brian, I don't think Brian threw any in. Did oh Brian yeah. Have one? Well, before we go. I mean, there's a lot, but one of my just any different. The one, one that really sticks out in my head is like I think maybe a, even episode one or two when I try to infiltrate like. Roberts, uh, like, <laughs> yeah, it just, yeah. It was like it was episode me five and Jake. or six. Yeah, it's like because he asked me to pee on you know somebody, <laughs> oh, <laughs> and, oh, to and then I like, wouldn't do it. And he's like, "Wait, you love pissing on kids?" And that's so <laughs> you love funny. pissing on kids. <laughs> 
That's, you imposter. Yeah. That's just burned into my memory, man. That's so yeah, that's, funny. I, how did we not get canceled on episode six? I don't know. Dude. When Jake said out loud, know. you, you love, love pissing on, on kids. But you love getting pissed on kids. <laughs> Oh, one more before we move on. Sorry, one more, one more, one more before we move on. You're using your inspiration. Go ahead. The whole wrestling, the whole wrestling. Oh, oh. that was a all great. Of it. Okay, from us yeah. setting, from us setting up the, the those three episodes of us setting yeah. up the fight, and then our intros, our characters, the way we work together with everything. Um, yeah, <laughs> and it was just fun that those two or three episodes start out with the commercial for each one. They don't start out how they normally do, which was yeah. a really fun twist. Uh, I just thought great. those those few episodes were so creative from everybody. And that's th- those are always my favorite episodes is when everyone is so on the same page of creation and it makes yeah. these just like shining moments. Um, it's, just, it's, it's just so much fun. Yeah. And in yeah. a way, they're kind of standalone. So you just to be like, what, what do you want to do? <laughs> and you're like, yeah, I want to do this thing. And I was like, did you get to do it? <laughs> yeah. I love it. All right, Chris, you have like one or two more here. No, we have so many more. Well, you messed up quantum because you let it <laughs> no, go. No, you guys, we're, you we're guys an hour and 15 minutes. Well, this is going to be a long one because we're going to get through all of these. We deserve, we owe it to our audience. Well, let's go. How, how much, it. hey, how much longer? Because don't forget, I have to upload this today. Okay. Well then rapid fire, everyone. Okay. All right. Rapid fire. Tight, here we go. Okay? Rapid fire move. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Gray Senpai asks, if you had to play this campaign over again, but with a different class, what new class would you choose? I would choose Warlock so that I could be as evil as I wanted to be. That was my, that'd be my no. response, Warlock. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I would go wizard. So, cause I want, I want spells. I want to do something <laughs> other than shoot a bow and arrow <laughs> yeah. for five yeah, years. It's pretty yeah, boring. Sorry. Yeah. Ben? Uh, um, sor- sorcerer. And we'd all be little wizards, huh? Oops, all wizards. <laughs> it's a wizard Oops, all magic casters. <laughs> yeah. Spoiler alert, Hopefully. that may be a one shot at some point, by the way, everyone. <laughs> Hopefully yeah. we don't get hit by anything. Um, okay, let me, so t has a big question here. I'm going to suss through this. Uh, is there anything you wish your character could have done during the campaign that you weren't able to? No. Uh, follow directions? <laughs> Beliefs, obviously. <laughs> The one, the one mistake. Uh, I mean, the story played out how it was supposed to. <laughs> yes. So. All right. No, 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 no regrets. Yes, I never really <laughs> no said no to you guys for the most part too. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you did, we would just razz you until you allowed us to do whatever we wanted. So. <laughs> Basically, we'd bully you. Uh, okay. Hodgepodge asks, Matt, will you please, pretty please, run a full length version of the Wild West campaign set in Eberron and inspired by an American tale? And I will uh, second that request. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I'm sure at some point there will be playing it more. So, yes, in some way that will happen. Great. Uh, Ronald, Ronaldo Narg? That name. I think is okay. how that. Maybe yeah. it's just say it with confidence. Nobody else knows. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> would love to see the podcast over video recording like YouTube or something. Any plans to do this? No. At the moment, no. no. It's very difficult to do and is just more work. So we don't at have, the moment, we don't have no. any more editors. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> no. We're, so we're, no. we're just, this is not our primary job. Yeah. If it was, um, we would all be very poor. <laughs> right. Kind of already answered this from Gray Senpai asking about whether or not Catan would have kids. You kind of hit that, so we're gonna move on. <laughs> Obligat- Hope Arena. Obligatory siring. <laughs> uh Hope Arena asks, will you add more players and or have guests? I don't uh, know. Now possibly, that we're in this format, it's possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah possibly yeah. guests. Well, especially with yes. this system, because people can kind of come and go with it. If there is a yeah. situation where like someone's not available. We could squeeze somebody in. Mm-hmm. Hey, it could happen. You know? <laughs> hey, it could like happen. That. Hey, it could happen. Like a uh, world. Players is in full time. I doubt it, but um, I don't want to have to schedule any more people <laughs> on a regular <laughs> basis. But guests is yeah. definitely doable. Uh, epilogue for Beer Drum. We've talked about that. We'll try to see if we can work something in. Uh, we're going to skip that one because it's just going to be too much. Uh, Question for Ben. Uh, skip that one. <laughs> yeah, that's for you. Jake, do you... Re- oh, this is from Ronaldo Narg again. Jake, do you regret not killing one of your characters? Uh, I regret not doing L- more damage. LOL. Yeah. yeah. 
at the earlier thing, but, I think if I there would have been some heavier fight scenes if I just did some more damage to you guys. But that's about it. Gotcha. Uh, Norjack asks, for all the wonderful cast, what is something from the campaign, one shots or offshoot campaigns that has yet to have been drawn that you would love to see fan art for? Norjack? Oh, shit. Mm, I, I would love more fan art from the Western campaign. I really like those ones. Oh, those were um, good. Yeah. I mean, there's so many moments in the main campaign that I would love to get to eventually and doodle something up. But I'd like to see somebody draw moments? Mr. Nibbles. Mr. Nibbles would be good. Yeah, that was a fun one. The backstory campaigns, because we didn't really do any character creation fully for those. So yeah. that'd be nice to see more from the the backstories. Anyone else? Um, okay, moving on. Uh, <laughs> nope, you're taking too long. Okay, backstories. Uh, <laughs> Sir Puns a lot. For Ben and Brian, is this how you expected your characters' stories to go? nope <laughs> i told jake in the beginning i said like i want to be a regular ass dude and he was like okay you're a regular ass dude now you have ice powers and i was like all right i guess that's just what needs to happen here <laughs> some things happen um, in the story <laughs> yeah so i mean like no i just it's uh it, I, I i we didn't know how any of this would go um so yeah here we are Okay. Yeah. I, I honestly expected that we would all die or at least some of us would <laughs> at the end of the, at the end of the thing. Well, you did for a minute. <laughs> I did. You kind of did. Yeah. All right. Uh, Mimic Mango asks, how do you feel? I just want to know how you are. And that's very sweet. Oh, oh. That's that's very sweet. Sweet. I'm feeling good. Feeling it's good. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Anyone else have a, <laughs> a feeling to share? I, I need back surgery. Little, little under the weather, but I'm all right. <laughs> yeah. Half, more than half of us are sick right now with some sort of cold or. I'm not saying. Malady. <laughs> I'm not. A malady of some sort. <laughs> yeah. I can't feel my left foot. Um, That's not so great. How do I feel? Honestly, objectively, less than I did before. Uh, no, I mean, we're getting through life. Everything's good. All, all the, all the key big, big things are fine. Right. Like we're all, we're all good. We got. We got our jobs and our relative health and happiness. So, you know, and we get to play with it. We get to play this game with our friends once a month. I think we're okay. Yeah. Pretty good. All right. Uh, Hodgepodge asks for Catan, why Blades of the Dark? Um, Be concise. You've used up your extra time already. <laughs> because, because it's because it's narratively driven. You tell me what you want to do and then you tell me satisfying. how you do it. So I don't have to worry about you guys like like deeply learning rules. You just, you know, all those instances where you guys in the game would be like, well, can I just like shoot a flare gun and a grappling hook and do a backflip? I'm like, technically no. In Blades in the Dark, yeah. Just tell me how you're doing it. And I so you said that, guys. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's it allows, <laughs> I think it allows a lot more flexibility with storytelling. And it's dark and sucky and I I I I wanna do something that's a bit more dark. I mean, I still want to do something fun, but I want to do something that that's just a little bit less fantasy and a little bit more goth. <laughs> uh okay. Last couple that we have here. Dear Editor Supreme has a few questions. Uh why Barkman no use bark skin? <laughs> Very great question. Uh <laughs> Bark skin takes concentration and boy, howdy, I hate using <laughs> concentration spells just on myself. So that would be why I never really got into that. You can cast it on other people, can't you? Uh, it would only bring the AC up by eight. A little like, bit. <laughs> yeah. It, I feel like it was like pointless to put it on. Yeah, it doesn't, it, I think it only does like anyone. one or two. It's like a shield essentially, I think. I, yeah. It's honestly, yeah. I, and I think there's a max or something. Yeah, it it wasn't quite. It's a good it was never a situation spell. that yeah, a lower for level. It. Yeah, uh, what was Beardrum up to during the climax? Was he we'll just like that. rocking out down there? Yeah, just just rocking out. around town. Yeah, we'll cover that if we get to his his goodies. Yeah, uh, and then he says, "Just thanks, Matt, for pulling me in early." Don't oh, know what that means, but uh, you know, you're you're welcome. You're welcome, I guess. Yeah, you're welcome. 
And are we going to keep the same cast? Yes, we are. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, we got one more here. Yeah. And the, the bark skin, the bark skin thing, by the way. Yeah, it just makes your AC sixteen, or if it's already higher, then it stays higher. And the problem with like high level is, is that like everything There's still no hits point. a sixteen. Yeah. 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 Uh, this question is for Ben from Gremlin Adult. Uh, as the next DM for the campaign and such, will there perhaps be mentions of this sprinkled in your lore? The so worlds are not connected. No. So you're not going to sprinkle in any connection, the Easter egg or otherwise. There might be some joke, tongue in cheek Easter egg references, but no, the worlds are not connected. This is not like a, a thousand years after Jake's story in the same world with no name. Uh, no, this is a, this is pretty much by the books how the world of, of um, Blades in the Dark is written. Uh, so they're not okay. connected. I'll sprinkle in something occasionally for fun, but- all right. And then she they ask as well, is there gonna be more funny moments or more serious ones in this new campaign? You know, that's we're gonna see how it goes. <laughs> it's us. You so, can try to make it serious. Yeah. I can yeah. see I'm, how that I'm goes. Gonna, yeah, I'm hey, gonna, hey Ben, good luck. <laughs> good luck. Good I'm gonna, luck. You guys, I'll, I'm gonna treat I'll be honest, this like you guys got way better. Yeah, I'm going to treat this like how I feel like you should treat like raising kids. You know, like you start with kindness and you understand that the world's gonna beat them down a little bit. Um, so, you know, start by making them kind and then hopefully they even out. I'm going to start by trying to make this serious and we'll see how quickly it devolves into chaos and fart jokes. Um, day one. And maybe Perfect. I'll find a happy medium. All right. That will do it for our questions, everyone. Thank you guys all so much for sending in so many over so long of a period. <laughs> yeah, sorry so that we had so years. many. To, but it was great. We, we, Stocked them up. Yeah, so we had a really nice juicy one for you. These. Yes. Um, of course, we still accept questions at all times. So please feel free if there was something we didn't address or something that sparked a new question, drop it in there and I'll get to it in maybe four years or so uh, <laughs> and ask it at some point. So yeah. See that, in 2020 I have done. 20 or yeah, 28. Whatever. Job, yeah, yeah. That was bad. <laughs> yep. That's it. Well, all right, guys. Thank, Thank you. you so much for hanging tight with us with this story. We had a lot of fun. I'm going to hit the stop button now. Goodbye. I'm going to hit the stop button. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>